Hey everybody, and welcome back to another basic banjo lesson with Willow. This week we're going to work on the classic Shuck in the Corn. Now I do have a Patreon as well as a digital PayPal tip jar listed in the description box down below if you'd like to donate a little bit to help support these lessons. Let's get into it. All right, Shuck in the Corn. So I just want to mention there are so many ways to do this classic tune. This is just my way and um, hopefully you like it. So we're going to go hit that fourth string open and then the third string open okay then we're gonna do a little slide on the third string from the second fret to the fourth fret and do a cripple creek roll now I do want to say um, this song would be a great one to practice your rolls and your chords on and I do have videos on both of those things that I will link in the description box down below so if you're looking to practice up on those this is a great one to do it also, we use a lot of licks from my top five most useful banjo licks video, so I will link that in the description box down below as well to check out, because I'll go more in depth about some of the li these licks there to save time here. Okay, here we go. And then we're going to hammer off. So what we just did was four, three, slide, cripple creek, pull off, two, three open, one, then we did another slide with the cripple creek, fourth string open, pinch five and one together, okay, so. that same little bit again the cripple creek and then the pull off and then instead of doing another slide we're gonna go we're gonna hit our um, fourth string third fret with our middle finger and then we're gonna catch the um, first string third fret with our ring finger and then we're gonna do a little reverse roll okay that sounds a little strange by itself but it's gonna make sense because we're gonna be going up to a C chord, okay? And once we get to that C chord, to make things simple, we're gonna play another reverse roll. Crazy, right? <laughs> um, all right, and then we're gonna make a C7. So we're gonna take our ring finger, hit that third string, third fret, another reverse roll. Okay, and then we're gonna do a G run. Five, three, one, three. Hit that fourth string, um, second fret, first string open, and then we're gonna go to that D lick that we learned in the top five most useful banjo licks. Okay, so what we just did was. part of Shuck in the Corn sounds like this. Okay, so we have our, um, our kind of like our stationary point here, which is our middle finger on the um, second string third fret, and beside it is our ring finger on the first string um, third fret. So we're going to go two and one together, pinch, hit that fifth string, move those down a fret. Okay. So we go. Okay. Then let those go. Still pinch on the second and first. It sounds really strange by itself, but it's super cool when you put it together. 
back up to the second fret and then to the third. So we kind of just start and then go back. So it sounds like this. quickly jump over to our C7 and do two reverse rolls. Back to that G run and the little and then the same D run. And then a G run. And that's it. That is the first part of Shuck of the Corn. Awesome job guys. I'll see you in the next part. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like this one, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment or a like, and I'll catch you next time.